Here I am. <laughs> uh, I am your guest host, Leslie Jordan. <laughs> you may have heard me on the Instagram saying, Leslie Allen Jordan reporting for duty. <laughs> Or you may have heard me say, what are y'all doing? <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I am hosting the Ellen Show. <laughs> Just a little kid from the suburbs of Chattanooga, Tennessee. You know, in 1982, I got off a bus at the corner of Vine Street and Daylong Prey one block below Hollywood, which has been the story of my career, <laughs> <laughs> that my mama y'all had sewed $1,200 into my underpants. So I stepped off of that bus and I had a suitcase, $1,200, and I had a dream. And now here I am. So. <laughs> And it's about time this show had a gay host. <laughs> People backstage kept asking me, are you nervous? I said, honey, I grew up gay in the 1960s <laughs> in Chattanooga, Tennessee, <laughs> which was an exercise in terror. <laughs> so nothing makes me nervous. <laughs> I've been pretty busy this year. Have any of you seen my show, my TV show on Warner Brothers? It, it's called Call Me Cat. And we are so proud of it. We're going to have one of my castmates out in a little while. I won't tell you which one, but one of them will be coming. But it stars Maya Bialik and Swoosie Kurtz. And Swoosie, it takes place in Louisville, Kentucky. And Swoosie's the fancy one, you know. She, she's the mother who goes to the races and wears hats. And then she's got that daughter, you know, who's 40 and not married. So anyway, it's a really cute, cute show. And the season two premiere is Sunday, January 9th on Fox at 8 o'clock. So clear your schedules. <laughs> now, uh, this summer, I really blew up on the gram. <laughs> See, the young kids know you older people. That means I do, I'm doing really well on Instagram. <laughs> I blew up on the gram. You know, during the lockdown, I was in Tennessee, visited my sweet mama, and uh, I started posting on Instagram twice a day. I did, it was like something like 40, two, two posts a day for 40 days. And I had no idea what, I mean, I would just, you know, I, I didn't even know what content meant. You know, I, I wake up in the morning now and think I gotta come up with some content, <laughs> keep this ship afloat. But you know, back then I'd just write about this or write about that. And you know, the next thing, five and a half million people. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna say that again. Five and a half million people were tuning in. <laughs> Take that, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I also, during the pandemic, recorded a country album. I'm not really even a singer, I mean, per se. But I had this friend named Travis Howard, and he and I would do uh, hymn singing on Sunday on Instagram, and people started tuning in. And we would just get these old Baptist hymns that I grew up with, and we would do updated versions of them. And so all of a sudden, here we decided we're going to uh, record an album. And listen, Dolly Parton, would you sing with me? Sure, honey, yeah. She said, can I bring my family? I'd like, no, Dolly, just you. <laughs> You can't have your family on my home. Dolly Parton, uh, uh, Brandy Carlisle, who's just pew, yes. Boy, she is on the, she's on the move. Eddie Vedder, y'all may know him from, yeah, personal friend of mine. And, and Chris Stapleton, who's won everything. So anyway, 
I've got that. I love to sing. I even wrote for y'all a little holiday song that didn't make the album. But uh, do y'all want to hear it? Yeah. Well, okay. God, we know our gay apparel is what they like to say. But being gay is something I love being every day. So put on your favorite sweater and smile as you watch it snow. Tell all the handsome men I'll be under the mistletoe. I love roasted chestnuts by an open fire. And if you're looking for a sexy elf, I'm available for her. I love a hot toddy or a hot Brian Rick or Troy. Please tell Santa, I've been a naughty boy. <laughs> I can't believe it, I just sang on Ellen. Can y'all believe it? I want y'all to just have a gay Christmas. I really want you to. And now we're gonna give it up for someone whose dance moves are naughty and nice. To which? <laughs> 